To illustrate how important the proper head position is, we're going to show you three of America's greatest open water swimmers, all using different stroke techniques and yet all with a common head position. Eva Fabian is using a hybrid technique, but she keeps her head down. She holds a little bit longer in front with the right hand, digs in with the left hand, but notice how she tucks her chin down. Alex Meyer uses more of a hip-driven technique, pushing out the front, driving with his legs. But look at his head position. He looks forward perhaps 10 degrees, but he drops the chin in, these breathes back and to the side, keeps one goggle underwater so he doesn't turn the head any more than necessary, but keeps the head down all the time. Notice with his head down, his hips stay very close to the surface, body in alignment the whole time. Finally, Christine Jennings uses more of a shoulder-driven, symmetrical technique. Higher stroke rate than Alex, but notice her head position also with her chin down, looking toward the bottom of the pool, tucking the chin in, breathing back and to the side, keeping one goggle underwater during that breath, so she minimizes the head turn, but notice how deep her chin is. There's a tendency when spotting in an open water swim to keep your course in alignment, to not drop your head back into the correct position. Here I show you how I spot, but I do not drop my head down enough and keep my head too high, keeping a poor body position. Here you can see from below water that my hips are low, and as I spot, I never get my hips back to the surface. If I keep my head down, my hips come up to the surface, the wave goes over my head, I can still lift my head up, do a proper spot, and then drop my head back into the proper position. From the side, you can see how my hips sink when my head comes up, and when I drop the head back down where it's supposed to be, the hips come back to the surface, and the body gets back in alignment to reduce frontal drag. <laughs>